The frame rail is bent on this truck, so today we're going to use a dozer type frame machine to pull some of the damage in order to access or remove the bumper, spare tire, and box. We'll be able to get to that frame rail much easier once some of the parts are removed. Here's how the front of that frame machine is hooked up. One to the end and another hook in a hole in the frame. Here's a shot from a distance. With this type of frame machine, you don't need the pinch weld clamps on full frame vehicles. You can just hook the front to the frame and pull from the back. Here's a shot of those pinch weld clamps for unibody cars. For full frame vehicles, you don't need them. You can just anchor the frame machine to the frame of the vehicle. For anybody interested, I'll post the instructions to this frame machine in the description. Basically what we'll be doing is pulling from down here in various spots to get this bumper back into place so we can access the bolts. The bed is sort of crunched up right here, it raises up. So as we pull, if we can get this out and leave the bed on, we will. If not, we'll have to pull the bed and straighten each thing separately. The frame, then the bed, and then put the two together. At this point we'll remove the bumper and then start pulling the frame rail. After pulling the bumper we're now going to try to straighten the frame rail. You can see that little kink right there and right here we'll try to pull up on an angle and then pound down on the bed side and hopefully that straightens that out a bit. You can stand over there. Okay, now you can climb up in the back. The frame rail is bent down. You can see it slopes down a little bit. So we're going to chain it up top to this big rail down here and jack up the back. So while we're jacking this up, this will be pulling down and hopefully we'll be able to straighten that. Hold on. 
Here's a shot from further away. There will be upwards pressure here, and this is stationary, so there will be downward pressure here. Here's the front of that frame machine. We have it blocked so it doesn't move up and chained to the frame. After messing around with it for a while, this is as good as we can get it. It's straight enough to put the bumper and the hitch back on. Finally, we have a pretty good crease right here. We're going to weld a little piece of metal in there and pull this out. It needs to look like that. Nice and straight, and this needs to be flat. We'll be welding this body shim right, right there. ground ready for some filler. The important part was making sure that this line is where it's supposed to be. We'll knock down any high spots and like I said before we'll fill this, prime it, and paint it. Good, actually. We'll finish the bodywork later. For now, though, at least the truck is drivable. I hope you enjoyed this video on pulling a truck frame with a dozer type frame machine. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.